hello it's Sarah and today I have some project shares I've been sewing and I already showed you my book covers these are and I have this many now um, but what I'm noticing is I'm getting better each time so that's why I want to show you so this is mine I've been taking my all the videos I'm watching about quilting and sewing I'm gonna put in here um, this one I just did in the blue with uh, all the metallic -y pa uh, pattern on it. I love that one. I got these, um, they're called, uh, this one. This is Fabric Central. These I got from Joann's and they sell it in strips, two and a half inch strips in like a jelly roll. I think that's what they're called, jelly rolls. Um, but this one was good. It was getting better. Then I also got a strip one, um, I think. No, you know what? This wasn't a strip one. This was one that I got from Walmart. It's a, it was a stack by Emma and Mila. Walmart had a couple of cute ones. And I'm not thrilled with this one because I shouldn't have put this white at the top. I don't know. I think I should have flipped these, like put the white here and put the black there. So just design wise, but I mean, I'm getting better and better and my bindings are starting to, although I can see here that my top stitch didn't hit it. So I'm still a very beginner, very much a beginner sewer. And then this one actually I made for Maya, but she didn't really care. <laughs> she wasn't like that into it, but I just love, this is another stack that I got from Walmart. And it was just pretty flowers. There's little pea pods in that fabric. This one just has ladybugs and bumblebees. And this is like butterflies. And this is actually, this blue one is from one of the, um, one of this stack. This one. So it, it just matched. It was the same color blue or as, as that one. So I threw it in there to just fill it out. But this is a, a tutorial by Erica Arndt. And I will put it in the um, description box, but this is my most perfect one. All of my stitching is kind of even, and I think it had to do with the tension on my machine. I went into my manual and I looked at the directions, and I think I had it set wrong. Um, so once I figured that out, because I've been trying a zigzag stitch too, um, okay, so I shared those already. I also did this little bag, and this little bag is a, another quilt as you go project. And by that I mean there's batting in between. There's batting in between all of these. This is just, these were 50 cents at Walmart, so I don't know if you're Walmart. I'm going to go back and get like a bunch more, and I think I might put these on my Etsy store. <clears throat> um, so, because these were 50 cents, so I'll cover, I'll put a book in there, and then I'll sell it with the book in there. Um, but, what was I saying? Oh, there's batting in between here. So see how it's quilted. Once you get your layers together, <clears throat> you, this one you literally quilt as you go. You add the fabric as you go. It's such a fun, it was so fun, and a great beginner project. But this one is by... A woman named Jenny Doan and it's on the Missouri Star Quilt Company um, YouTube channel and it's called a zipper pouch and remember I did this little pouch out of the raw canvas that I um, this was oh man Gina Ahrens had done a little tutorial about this really rough we didn't flip anything around it's all the stitching is showing because for mixed media, that is a cool look. I like even the strings, having the strings showing and all that. It's a very cool look. But um, Jenny showed me how to do a zipper correctly. Like, I don't know, even though mine's still wonky. Like, it's definitely wonky. This was only like, I think I made this before I made these two. So I was still really beginner. Um, we made this little pouch um, she also taught me how to turn things inside out because the last one's my favorite that's what I want to show you and I might do a tutorial for it if I get the measurements on point 
but this one she taught us how to turn it inside out and how to square off the corners on the bottom so that your bag stands up it, it's a real I'll put that in the description box too but so everything's quilted um, first quilt as you go so you're stitching the backing fabric the batting and the front fabric together at the same time and then um, you just flip your bag inside out and so I'll show you how see by squaring off the corners the bag like kind of stands up it has a little you know a little bit and I made sure to make sure pens would fit in there but I mean you could put like she said she makes these little pouches and she puts her little um, her cable wires in here when she travels or whatever I mean you can make these pouches for everything for you know I just think they're super adorable I am I am really excited you guys this has really gotten me super happy because I've had my sewing machine I want to say, I mean, it's definitely over 10 years, and I, I've made one complete quilt, one, that had, I had someone else, I think, I, I don't think I did the batting, the binding on that. I think someone else bound it for me. Nikki, I think. Nikki Guyberson did it for me. I think. Anyway, um, so these little projects are just so exciting for me because I'm, getting my machine out again because quilting was hard for me quilting is a very exact <clears throat> for me anyway these little ones where you can go out of lines and make mistakes and it's not a huge deal to me I don't feel like I have to be perfect with these although this one is like pretty much this one's pretty much perfect like this one came out so good like so even and straight I don't know what my thing is if I'm not cutting things straight or if I'm not sewing things straight now this one is a little tic-tac-toe board that Maya made and she is my granddaughter and she's eight and I might attach the footage after this video I'll maybe attach the footage because we did a little project share it was just short um, just so you can see her um, well you don't see her you only see her hands but she did all this quilting so let me see if you can see it so she did all that this is quilt as you go and I mean it's a little crooked and you know you can tell it's wonky I did do the binding and um, I think next time I should have done it the square should be definitely like a dark color and a light color so that you can tell that they're different but I think it turned out cute she picked the pea pods I like the pea pods and then Erica this is on Erica's channel as well she just used like big buttons as um, the tic-tac-toe pieces but we just used little fake money or whatever whatever Maya had to play tic-tac-toe so that was just a cute we did this on I don't know Saturday night I think it was my son was working and um, she enjoyed it so much you'll see but anyway in the in the video she no I don't think she said it but when we were sewing she said go get pop pop because she wanted him to see her doing it but you know I mean I don't have that fancy of a machine because in the video um, Erica's daughter Tinkerbell does this she does the project and Erica has um, a, a machine that you can like slow the foot down to like I don't have that like so for a little kid to do it it won't go really fast if they push the foot down too hard the um the pedal um but anyway she had fun it was so fun and for this much fabric it's like a cute little project for a kid to to try sewing with you know so I'll put that in the description box I there are a few more um tutorials by Jenny on Mission Star Quilt Company's um, face um, YouTube channel that I want to look at too um, and the zipper was just so cool to figure out and I was thinking about putting a zipper on this this is my latest you know what I wanted to show you so these are just more stacks this is the stack that I used on this one so they come like this there's only five pieces of fabric in there and I don't know if it's a, a fat quarter or they're 18 by 21 so I don't know I don't know the lingo yet guys so forgive me um, and then I got this fabric too look at all this black I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do another 
um, one of these. Now look at this. Erica also has, um, it's called patchwork journal cover and it's basically the same thing as this only she flips it inside out she doesn't put a binding on it so it's a totally different technique so it's great um, in case if, if you don't want to do a binding uh, so I made this this is my i my mini my iPad mini and originally on Erica's um, this on this tutorial the quilt as you go she put a little elastic on here and I just you didn't need it because it stays closed without the elastic so I didn't put it on there but for this I decided to do it so this is my iPad mini and this is what I mean by I gotta get my measurements straight because um, and also I think what I want to do is this one I bent in half so the whole piece, it's a whole big piece, and then I folded it in half, just like a book cover. But I stitched it from the back, so from here. So I threw a bunch of different techniques together because on the... Um, this little pencil bag she taught us how to zipper, uh, zipper, what is it called? Zigzags, not zipper. Zigzag along your rough edges to kind of contain them. And so I did that on here. So I'm, I'm like adding stuff that I've learned from Erica and stuff that I've learned from Jenny. And, but my measurements were off because you have to make sure you have enough. When I put my cover on, because I just have one of these um, um, magnetic covers that like can be a stand. So when I had that on there, it won't fit because this is kind of like it has a rubbery feel to it. It won't slip in to like it'll go in this way. I'll bet you, just barely, it will fit. But that's because this seam isn't in there. So I originally wanted to cut the two pieces apart and stitch them together, but I knew it wouldn't it wouldn't have fit at all if I'd have cut it apart and stitched around all three edges. So I just ended up folding it. But I did do the zigzag stitch around the extra hem. I ha I cut off this corner to kind of make it less bulky when I flipped it, and I cut a little bit up here off too. Um, but I mean, I think it turned out, this one actually being the patchwork, oh my gosh, I was so excited because this turned out fantastic. I did a great job. I haven't done this type of um, quilting when you have to attach your rows, but they're pretty good. Like all my points are pretty good. I'm very pleased when you do quilting and you have to attack, like join squares together. They really need to touch, and I've always struggled with that. Like they've never come out um, perfectly square. But Erica helps you. I pinned each row. Like, see that one's not. You can see here. Let me show you what I mean. Like this is not a perfect point. These two points should be touching. So there's a little bit of, but then. I mean, this whole row, see, this one's touching. This one's not, this one's not, so those three aren't. So for some reason, I had it lined up wrong. But this one, look at that, perfect square, perfect square. Like, I am just so happy because for the most part, I did really well. They're not perfect, but for a project this size, it's not going to, you know, be the end of the world. Um, and then I added, I just felt like adding this big, big old chunky button. But here's what I figured out. So my iPad will fit in here without the cover. Let me go this way. And then you can just fold the cover in half and put it in the back and loop it around. So I'm excited. I mean, at least it's, you know, it works. I'm so excited. This is super cute. Like... So I'm going to try and work on my measurements. And then the other one is like, I have this bad boy. Now, if I get it, you can't even see this in the whole frame, but this is my iPad Pro. And it's big. 
I mean, let's see. If I'll just take a quick. So it's 12 by 9. So that's big, and that's going to take a lot of fabric, and I don't want to screw it up. Like, I don't want to jump in there without having some practice first before I, you know, use up all that fabric and screw it up. Um, so, yeah. So that's, I mean, I think it's super fantastic. I'm so excited. And even this little um, elastic, it's I, could, I was thinking about putting a zipper because I could have put a zipper up here. Jenny shows you how to cut your zippers and put a little end on there and everything. So if you guys um, have a sewing machine and haven't used it in a while, I'm going to put all these links in the description box so that you can get your machines out and have a play at this on these hot days if you have air conditioning. And I do, so I'm pretty lucky. Um, but isn't this adorable? So now... I just, and I don't even use my stand that often, so I just pull it out. Oops, and I have, and you know, you might want to put your, um, you know, having a pocket in here might be a good thing too, to like to keep your um, plugs and stuff, like if you are traveling, but just as a case to hold it and protect your iPad, that is super cute, isn't it? I love it. All right, you guys, so I know that was a lot, but... My mojo is back. I am definitely inspired to do these. And again, this is what I love about um, crafting is I mix it around. Like I, 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 if I get bored with something, which I don't really get bored, but I get inspired to do something else, to try something new. And um, so that's what I'm doing. And you know what it actually, uh, I'll just show you this real quick. But look at this, like a notebook cover and this, they match. And this is like the straight one and that's a iPad cover. OMG, they're so cute. I'm so excited. I'm sorry. It just gets me <laughs> so excited. But this is, um, I don't even remember what I called this. It's just a needle book, I think. And this is all made out of felt. And this was a sewing project that I did. Um, a couple years ago one of the first things I started doing on YouTube and I made a bunch of these and nobody bought any of them at my craft show but I had so much fun making them and this is where I keep my needles so when I needed to sew my button on here I had to go to my needle book and in the pocket I'm pretty sure in this pocket I have a little pocket needles and I have my sewing threads in a different uh, place. But this is like my thick needles when I was doing, um, what was I sewing with this? Oh, making the um, signatures in my journals. I use that thread to sew my signatures in. So it has a bunch of stuff in here. There's some pins and some other needles. Like, I think this is a threader. Look at that, and I didn't even use my threader. But yeah, here's my sewing needle that I just used. But isn't it cute? And this is mine. This is the one I use. And um, so, yeah, so I, I switch it around definitely. Um, you know, I'm wondering, you know, this fabric's just so cute. I was going to say, if I painted fabric or jelly printed it or whatever and then quilted it, how cool would that be, right? To have like the double the thing I made but it's I even made the fabric you know instead of buying the fabric anywho um, all right you guys so I'm gonna go put all this I'm gonna put the um, tutorial links in the description box and look how cute OMG and I'm going to work on these a little bit more. I want to perfect them a little bit more. And they really take quick. They do not take long to make. All right. Thanks for watching.